It's currently running right now, but uh, not actively recording. Vancouver police officer Katie Ranger has a new piece of equipment, a body camera. I'm part of a, the trial pilot project, so I'm the, one of the coordinators. Ranger is one of 84 patrol members who will be wearing them in the coming days, following training sessions. That will rise to 100 officers. One of them is going to be a contact officer, the other one's going to be covered. The cameras are activated by two taps and blink when turned on, allowing civilians to know if they're being recorded. Also, the expectation is that our officers, when it's appropriate and safe to do so, will advise any person that they're interacting with that they are being recorded. Expediting use of body cameras was recommended by the Miles Gray inquest jury, which deemed the 33-year-old's death a homicide. Gray died in a violent confrontation with VPD members in 2015. Body cameras are used in a number of Canadian cities. VPD's pilot program was announced after Vancouver City Council provided $200,000 in funding. To actively record it, I just have to press the button twice. And uh, now we're recording audio and visual. The cameras are small and each weighs approximately two pounds. Each officer um, who is participating in the pilot project has been assigned a personally issued body camera. This is just a docking station. Recordings will be automatically deleted after 13 months unless there's evidence of a crime or there has been a complaint. It captures a more complete picture of an interaction or a situation rather than maybe a, an independent witness's version of events. It's expected that all VPD patrol officers will wear body cameras in the next few years. Catherine Urquhart, Global News.